YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be getting the uh, 2320 ready for the upcoming season. So we're going to go through it, we're going to change the oil, we're going to change um, the filters. Uh, and we've done videos on that before, so I'm not going to do another video on changing the oil and the filters on this 2320. But what I am going to do a video on, which is part of our uh, annual service here, is the greasing of the U-joints for the drive shaft that comes out of the engine and goes into the uh, transmission. Now. It's really important that you keep those U-joints greased on the 2320s and other similar models. But I know for a fact on the 2320s that if you don't, the U-joints um, can uh, break apart and explode and either damage the engine or damage the transmission. And I almost bought a 2320 at auction that had that exact problem where um, the rear U-joint where it connects the drive shaft into the transmission had failed and uh, had caused some damage to the uh, to the transmission but that was a little bigger project than I wanted to take on so uh, so that one went on to somebody else but to make sure that doesn't happen to this machine uh, we're gonna make sure that those u-joints uh, are greased so I um, I talked about that I think in uh, another video we did about this machine and it's uh, in its review but um, I don't think we ever did a video on actually how we grease those So, let's take a look. So there is our rear drive shaft on this. You can see when I replaced, and you can see I had replaced these um, U-joints when I first learned, geez, a number of years ago, that they have a tendency to fail and uh, explode. So that's never a good thing. So I, um, I put the uh, Zerk on the outside. I bought the ones with the Zerk on the outside so it makes it a little easier. So we can rotate that down. And we'll be able to go right up through here with a grease gun and grease that one. Now the front one, which runs forward across this panel, is the one I you have to get in from the other side by taking that panel off I was talking about earlier. So... I probably should someday cut a hole in the side panel, put a grommet in there or something to make it easier, but we'll just, I'll just show you how we take it apart and get at it. But let's, uh, let's get this, this one down here greased up first. Yeah, a little too far. Thanks for letting me know. Just about perfect, I think, right there. Let's get the grease gun on it. Okay, that's definitely got grease up in there. Definitely see it up top there, so that's that should be good. Now, all right. Well, at least the good thing at this point in time is that uh, we're done crawling around underneath the machine. Now we just have to uh, take this this panel off, and we can get to the upper drive shaft uh, U joint, and we can grease that up.
Okay, so what we're after is a little access plate that's like right down around here. So once you loosen up this cover, pull it back up a little bit, that exposes these uh, these bolts here. And we'll just, there's like one back in there, I guess. Um, we'll just take those off, loosen up, and we'll see if we can slide this thing back. It may have to disconnect the uh, cruise control and the uh, brake, but I forget exactly. It's been a while since I took it apart. So we'll take it apart. That should give us access to that panel. And we can go in and we can see the um, U joint. So you can see once you take off there's like four or five bolts and you raise this up you can drop this back you can disconnect those two wires right there and then you can should be able to rotate this over a little bit and there's their your uh, your uh, hatch right back in there little plate cover removal so we'll disconnect those Let's take off the brakes and the cruise control. You can see it right there. My light's shining on it. And through that plate is our uh, U-joint. So you can see there's our drive shaft right there that goes into the engine and then back to where that uh, U-joint was we just um, cleaned. Looks like we've got some House of Mouse nuts that were stored in there, so we'll clean that all out. But I always like to give it an inspection. It's kind of nice to take the, the whole thing off anyway, so you can kind of clean it and get it all ready to go and do a little inspection. Make sure everything's looking okay, and it does. And I think you're going to be able to see... Right there is our U-joint. Nice spot, huh? So I did look up my records and I replaced both of these U-joints in 2018. So we're in 2024, so it's been a while. But that one still looks like it's got a little grease in it, which is good. But that's the culprit that if you don't get in there and grease it, and you can see there's really no way you can get in there because there's a, there's a plate in the way. There's a little bit of an access hole there. But that's it. That's it. That's really... It's really a tough spot. So we have to rotate it because, again, I've got the Zerk on the outside to make it a little easier to grease. So let's rotate that engine around and see if we can um, if we can get to the uh, Zerk. Would have been nice if it was right there. So all you got to do is rotate that around a little bit. The way I like to do it is put a pair of pliers on it and just rotate it around. There it is coming. Yeah, let's try right about there. That is definitely on. Definitely got some grease in there now. Perfect. And when it comes to this particular U-joint, I don't know if you can ever have enough grease. So I'm not really worried that it oozed all out. It's looking good as far as I'm concerned. Let's go in there and clean it up a little bit there right on the zerk. Yeah, good. You see it oozed out on the other side. That looks okay to me. That's it. That's uh, how to grease your uh, Two U joints, one coming out of the engine right there, which is the hardest one to get to, and the one that's underneath, which is a little easier, but still got to kind of work at it a little bit. So now I just have to put it back together and uh, fire it up, make sure it's uh, turning okay, 
and uh, we'll be on to our next task on this, which is to uh, change the fluids and filters and give it a bath, clean it all up, and then she'll be back in service. So I hooked the uh, switch back up so we can start this thing up and uh, see how it's uh, turning. Let's, uh, let's fire it up. Okay, looks good. Let's just to make sure it's not loose. Nope, not loose. Good to go. Thank you. 